Hello everyone, welcome back to Cam's Tech Talk and I uh, hope everyone is doing very well and ready to learn something, something new. So before I start, I just need to give you guys some background about what exactly we're going to discuss is. Um, it's a tool um, that has very big intelligence. Like it's, it's a very intelligent tool for businesses um, to improve um, the quality of work and more like you know when you're working on business processes and same time you want to build that logic into the tools to make it more automations and more effective on the KPIs so, so your KPI comes really nice ones so this tool help uh, the businesses and especially with the low code where you don't want a lot of coding and uh, where you don't want to get involved with a lot of developers so again, my focus is business and, and we're going to talk about it. But again, comes back to uh, <clears throat> this tool, is, uh, I'm going to discuss the certification for consultants and other people, which we will walk through. So get ready, all the consultants and the business users um, and Cam is back. So let's start. So as you all can see my screen now and I will walk through with you. Um, so let's start. And this topic uh, we're going to discuss is Omni Studio cloud right and the certification name is Omni Studio Cloud Consultant Certification Path. So what I did um, I I actually collect the information from from different um, sites um, so there will be a YouTube involved blogs involved obviously Salesforce trailhead involved and obviously I have written some some topics on it just to clarify how to pass this certification and the benefits of this tool and why why you have to do certification you don't have to do it but if you cover some people like business user if you don't want to do certification don't do it just follow follow the learning path which is trailhead and make sure you know the product so you can guide your admins or developers who are building the tool for you they can understand what exact what kind of outputs you're looking for okay hope you understand so let's let's walk through what is what exactly we required okay so first thing is what skill level is required so as you can see in front of your screen so what what we need what Om omni consultant um, you know it, it's it's basically a technical level as well as well as business level so we need minimum one year of Salesforce experience to do that so if you are an end user or if you are already involved in Salesforce you need minimum one requirement so it's not important but it's good to have it okay and plus two to five years experience of these skills like are written as a bullet points if you can see which is business analysis or uh, analyst or consultant um, if you are a, any technical consultant or, or a functional consultant that's helpful or if you are a solution architect or you are a delivery manager it's very important for you you're delivering the projects and you should know in and out about because you may end up talking to the client so you might need to know this okay obviously project manager program manager because you are interacting with the people every day and you are the central point of the contact and you should know this uh, I would say high level if you're not interested in certification don't do it but for consultants I would say it's mandatory um, it's good to have the certification it will be helpful okay UX designers because guys it's very important for UX people the reason I'm saying is because end of the day when you're building these step-by-step -step tiles uh, you know I will go through it's, it's basically you creating a process flow and which is very much interacting with the end users because end of the day especially the call centers the users I'm gonna give you this example call center users when they receive a call and they want to see the contact information or they want to see the task or they want to see some form Oh, who called in and then they want a some kind of guided path to follow those instructions so this is where UX people when somebody is building these kind of um, scripts for you or cards for you you should know what exactly coming in front of you okay and you can guide again because you know what's best as a user experience so you can guide people right so what is OmniCloud now <clears throat> so that's that's something we need to know so again, again, this is a digital engagement suite, um, simplifies and accelerate the digital transformation so our customers are agile, flexible and ready to respond to spikes in demand. So it's, it's basically giving some flexibility to the client so where they can respond um, ASAP or work smoothly for salespeople or call centers or, you know, anyone who's, who's working on Salesforce as an end user. So technically we are helping them 
um, you know, how how to use this product. And this helped me. Again, I said say intelligence. So who's creating the intelligence as a consultant, as a developer, as a deve admin? We are making this tool more effective for the end users. Okay. Again, the good feature is drag and drop. I love drag and drops uh, where you don't have to code. That's I'm, I'm keep on keep repeating this word about the low code. We'll we'll cover other benefits as well. But drag and drop is is very useful as always, right? And then we have configuration cap capabilities and. Obviously, you can work with the brands and you can do branding and all that stuff um, to help the businesses. So OmniCloud, again, it's a platform which is which is you know making um, people um, to to low to low code and create some um, cards for process flow and create some uh, magical experience for the clients. Okay. Next, the benefits. So benefit. So. Minimize custom development, uh, quick conversion. So let's say you have some ideas and you want to completely do it and you don't have to go through the complete SDL, SFD, SDLC like to follow the development path. No, it's a configuration. You just plan, you just bring your idea in and just tell the people, guys, this is what I want something. And I'm sure your admins or developers, they can easily build. It, it's, it will be very quicker, right? Again, it's interacting with third parties like, you know, you got JSON or something you're working on third parties. There is a facility uh, facility with integration users where you can, again, map the fields between two different systems. It will interact and it will bring the data from external, external to Salesforce, um, any external system to Salesforce to work closely. Again, don't have to write a code. It's beneficial. Okay. Um, obviously, uh, you have a complete component structure in there, code versioning there, and obviously um, conditional view components. So these things are majority of them for the developers they, when they work on it. You don't need to know everything. But again, the biggest one you need to know is there's the low code. And more information, there is a video link. I put it under under this screen. I will put this video in my description uh, where you can click on it and it's a one and a half hour video discussing about the whole end-to-end -end omni cloud advantages uh, via the Salesforce directly it's available on Salesforce website as well so you guys can watch on your own time okay moving forward so now how to start so here it is the study material we need to learn so if you are a consultant or you are a business analyst or you are a delivery manager this is very important and as well as solution architect um, it's very important for you to cover the the trailhead first before you get into further details or any external material okay so here is i put this link here as well but i will put that link in description so you can click and go to the it's a complete trail mix where you can learn step by step chapter by chapter module by module uh, how and there will be a hands-on practice you can create multiple configuration parts if you want to learn more um, and deep digger into it, it it will be helpful okay then there is a developer edition available and keep in mind um, i put the note as well it's only available for 180 days guys be careful if you're planning so make sure close stay close with the environment for at least 60 days or 70 days but maximum limit is 180 80 days salesforce will then you know uh, it will demolish or something it won't work after that but make sure you know this 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 particular impact and you work on it okay so that's the trailhead but there will be more study material i will show later on we will cover it okay these are the focus tips again omni studio these are the layers uh, of omni studio which offers number one digital experience we will cover in detail uh, like high level detail and in digital experience you will see the flex cards and omni scripts uh, service management, you will see integration, which is connecting to external third party systems and obviously data raptors. We will discuss the data raptors. Developer experience, I will not talk much on it because I'm not a developer, but at least I will give some hints to you guys why it's important and, and what's the difference between IDX and Workbench tools that developer loves it because it, it's, a, I think the one tool is less. Uh, code basic but the other one is again more code basic like you know how you want to do it but i will explain in in further slides basically how it works okay next so omni studio tool together in action and so let's say um so what i'm going to give you here is and um, some kind of example so this is very exa very good example especially if you're working on cti projects which is telephony system with integrating with your service cloud and if you want to handle those situations and i think i think 
how it collaborates from different different pieces and bringing that everything into the one place because i'm as i mentioned the word earlier about the call center right so let's say your phone number in cti and and let's walk through this this step by step how the agent receive a call and what what interface available for the agent to to walk through and and we made it happen so this is a very good example what omni studio can do it for you it's a very good right so let's say customer calls into a call center to update the address detail and check other account details so cti screen the call center agent launches into a console page that shows information about the caller their account the page displays a set of flex cards so you can see there is a billing data you got weather you got account info right so these are these are basically very presentable screens for the users in front as soon as you receive a call you got something wow it's so much easier for the call center users to interact and where they can see oh somebody's called because it recognized with the phone number because they, it's already registered and they know what exactly I'm talking about, what my billing data is, what my account is, and it's everything consolidated into a one page. And don't you see it's 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 amazing, um, you know? And you don't again, you don't have to do a code, a big code, or write down a big script basically to bring that information. No, it's a drag and drop features available in the Omni Studio via the flex card or via other other things like integration procedure or anything you can use. So it displays the information, right? So maybe if I'm receiving the billing data from my finance system, you can even do that utilizing integration fee, um, integration procedure basically to, to interact with it. Okay, so, so this is a tip. As an example, like this is what you can achieve via the Omni Studio. Hope you like it. Okay, let's move to step by step. As I previously mentioned, there are three different layers basically about digital and service management and the developer uh, layer. So, so this is the first one about the digital layer where we're covering the flex card Omni script, which I just showed in one of the example as well. This layer, so this digital experience layer includes two primary UI components because these are my UI components um, and amazingly a lot of questions comes in the exam about this so keep in mind read about FlexCard and OmniScript again carefully because this will be very helpful for you guys okay so so FlexCard displays contextual information and actions in an at a glance format for customer account data like I have seen in the last image right so you've seen my last slide it's there OmniScript provide guided paths. So I want a guide, right? I, when I receive a call, I want to guide the customer hit the, uh, to the user, basically, not to the customer, to the user who's who's taken the call. Guided path means I've, I've told them, click here, click here, click here, right? So I'm guiding them because the system is guiding them because we build that way so they can, they can see what exactly they're doing, right? Now, I put an, another short video here, someone, actually, it's not my video, someone done really good job on how to create the flex cards guide. Make sure to watch that video and give, it, give him a kudos. He's done a really good job. But again, it's available. I will put this link into the description so you guys can work and have a look. Okay? Right. Service management. Another. Dominate. Data with service management layers. It's, it's an omni... So service manager layer, uh, management layer of, Studio, of Omni Studio includes data service, read, write, transform, calculate, track data within and outside of Salesforce, right? So data adapters, <coughs> number one is data adapter, number two, integration procedure. Again, you're bringing the data from outside to Salesforce, right? So this is the detail I'm sure you guys can read, but these are the, these are the two further, um, so two further, concepts that you can use for read write transform calculation even calculations available you like while from the fields i know you everyone is aware so if there is any calculation involved you can use these and which is again within and outside so from external systems you can configure a calculations within these um, uh, components uh, to make it happen okay so please make sure read through about it and it's a detailing about the service management. There is more information available on Trailhead, especially on the service management. So go ahead and do the quiz as well. There are two, three chapters about um, integration procedure and, and the data adapters, okay? Moving forward, the last one, the last layer is a developer experience. Again, there are two tools available. One is a workbench and another one is IDX, uh, the build tool. 
Use the same functionality to export and deploy metadata fast, but IDX is a UI. Again, I love UI all the time, right? Uh, I used to be a DBA, I used to write queries, but not anymore. I more talk to the clients, right? So that's why my, it's just me. I love UI, but some core developers, technical people, they love writing code, they love writing queries, right? For them, we have a, we have a other one, the build, the idx build tool available because it's more configurable, it's more flexible for them, and they love queries, writing, bringing the information in front of them. You can see the architecture of this tool, basically how the automation, where it sits, basically both tools, and how you interact from via the QA or production and interaction with with dev. Look, it's this is the architecture of this tool. I will link again. I will put that link in the in the description area where you can read about it and learn more. Um, there's another tip. I am also what I will do. Obviously, I will put that in the description, but I will also put that as a blog for you guys. So I will put my whole blog into my um, onto my blogger website where you can go ahead and read about it if you're not fancy watching the YouTube I will put it there, but again, um, you will have all the options whatever you like it. Just go there and watch it um, It's to be honest. It's not it is nothing fancy It's I know the information sometimes directly available, but what I did I collected it's it's a collaboration I collect actually every information from different places and put it in one place it's easier for you to cover the certification part and same time learn the learn the benefits okay now if I'm learning but then we all have our own jobs as well so let's discuss something what challenges you face when you're working on this certification and why can't you do it and you're struggling guys first thing I know you are on current projects, you're working some extra activities at the same time while you're doing your eight hours job, plus you don't know where to find the study material. So I kind of solve all of three problems, all of three problems at this stage. So if you are working on current project, guys spend 15 minutes every day on the trailhead. And if you're working on some extra activities, again, my back to the same point, 15 minutes only, 10 to 15 minutes, not more than that. All right, and then if you don't know the study material, come to this video description and blog or somewhere, you will get every single information about this, the whole end-to-end -end journey. Okay, um, so that that was that was about the challenges, right? And let's move to the next one, which is what was my experience, which I collected. So this slide, it's cover, it's covering the the YouTube, the the external links, and and especially let's focus on these two first i will put both of um study material like youtube and external in the description again for you guys to pick up things and start working on it okay um don't don't feel shame if you have any questions send me via the comments send me via messages you all have my contacts via the other different social medias it's all available feel free connect with me i will i will work with you okay so the last one is very very important guys when you are reading the course material or working on exam and let's say you sit on an exam guys the challenge is challenging part is read the question carefully read the answers carefully okay so when you read the answers carefully then then you might change your idea about the option because these answers are very 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 similar right so when these answers are very similar then you have to be very careful in reading. I give this tip to every single person when you're working on it. Okay, so that's it pretty much. Um, so kind of this is the whole end-to-end -end certification path. What Omni Studio, the benefit, all around, all around Omni Studio consultant guys. So make sure you go through, you read through, and any questions come back to me. I will help you guys to work on it. Um, again, every single questions queries it's, it's available on internet but obviously when you talk to someone or you ask a question to someone sometimes it's easier right so come back to me cam is here and don't forget to post questions comments and sharing this video with the team um and i'm happy to answer but the study material will be available in my blogger and everywhere on my youtube sites okay have a good one guys and thanks for listening and have a good day chase guys bye